We start in Uvalde. That is where the Justice Department, as Doug just mentioned, is about to release its findings into the Robb Elementary Massacre. It's been quite the journey. It's mm -hmm. 20 months of waiting, but that report will finally be released to the public, and that'll happen tomorrow. Our Ken Molestina live for us in Uvalde tonight, and can we understand that's where families of the victims receive just a preview of what we will all get to see tomorrow. Yeah, a little preview uh, in a briefing, uh, Doug and Nicole. You know, it has been uh, 20 months, as you mentioned, May 2022. Uh, that's when this awful tragedy happened here in Uvalde. And since then, the family members have been pleading for so many answers uh, in this investigation. Well, they may finally get those answers uh, by way of this report, which is expected to be released tomorrow. Although tonight, the full details of it are still not known to the public. I can tell you that earlier today, family members gathered at this activity center. It's about three Three miles away from Robb Elementary itself, they were invited here for a private uh, preview and a briefing by DOJ officials who explained what they can expect in tomorrow's report. Now, while those full details not going to be known until sometime in the afternoon tomorrow, we do know that the response from law enforcement has been described as a failure. We also know that among the goals of this report is a specific effort to provide independent accounts of law enforcement actions and responses. Earlier in the day, U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland also spent some time here in town touring the murals in Uvalde that honor the victims. We spoke to family members of Amari Joe Garza as they left the briefing tonight. Have a listen to what they had to say. I think uh, this report is going to help us a lot to understand about what happened that day and maybe answer some of the questions that we didn't know and, and uh, things like that. So um, we had a lot of questions asked in there, and um, I think they're, gonna, they're really going to give us a lot of insight on some of the stuff that we maybe didn't know. I have a lot of a lot of emotion going right now. I I don't have a lot of words to say right now because I have to process everything that took place right now. Um, it was a lot of information, um, and I guess the next step is to find out what will be done with this information. So much has been said tonight about what the next step is. Right now, we do know, again, the next step, the immediate one, is to get that full report. That, again, happens tomorrow, 1.30 Central Time here in Uvalde, Doug and Nicole. So it sounds like not a ton of information for them tonight, which, mm. you know, I mean, human nature, I would automatically maybe become a little more anxious yeah. about tomorrow. What are the emotions there? What are they telling you about that? <sighs> Yeah, you hit the nail right on the head. Uh, anxiety, so much uh, here in, in in town in Uvalde. You get the sense uh, that folks are, are are anxious. They want to see these these full and these complete findings. Again, they've been asking for this for so long. Uh, in addition to that, you can add some renewed grief for some families that are having to relive it all. Uh, so we're expecting that tomorrow is going to be a very emotional day. Uh, it's also going to be a day that hopefully sheds a lot of light uh, into the questions that have been asked for 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 so long. And then part of the what's next, also Doug and Nicole, is who eventually. Uh, will shed blame in all of this uh, and, and who is going to have to, you know, answer uh, to the findings in that report. So, of course, we're going to see all of that tomorrow and we will have complete coverage for you on air and online on CBS News Texas. Yeah, Ties Ken, we appreciate your update. You know, it is one thing for us covering this as journalists, but these, there are real families, real people, real emotions on the other side of this report. So I know you'll bring it to us the best you can, Ken. We appreciate you down there.